Hello guys, my name is Fabio and I'm an Italian travel blogger and travel photographer. And I moved to China about five years ago in uh, one of the most beautiful provinces, at least in my opinion, Yunnan province. The last five years have been extremely interesting. I've had the chance to visit a lot of interesting places, beautiful landscapes, meeting uh, a lot of nice people. This year has been very, very challenging for everyone. There are a lot of restrictions. People are not really allowed to travel back to their hometowns. And this is very, very important because we are approaching one of the most important holidays in the country, Chinese New Year. So today I decided to come to visit this market in uh, Kunming city, the capital of Yunnan province. And I will show you around some of the things that people can buy, what you can find in this local market, and uh, some of the items that are used uh, for uh, celebrating this uh, Chinese New Year. So in a market like this you can buy different things such as uh, decoration for the home, also local products, for example local sausages, local tea and also some products made with the silver. Another thing that is very particular about Yunnan is the Bai minority that is very skilled in working with the silver, so it's very very interesting. These are some of the most common items for the celebration of the Chinese New Year. Basically every family is going to buy something from a place like this. This represents a Chinese guardian god and it's very important. People will buy this and will put it on the front door so that evil spirits or demons, they are not allowed to attack the house. So it's for protection. Another one that is very important, it's called the red envelope. So when people want to exchange a gift and basically money, they will put the money in the red envelope and they will give it to their friends or to their family members. This is called a sugar painting, a form of a traditional Chinese art. The difficult part is that the sugar has to be still very hot, otherwise you cannot pour it on the table. It's very interesting to see how fast and how skilled these people are. This is very interesting because it's uh, very difficult to find cheese in China. This is goat cheese called Rubin that is very common in Yunnan. Cut in small pieces and uh, fried it and then maybe with some vegetables on the side. Hi guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. I hope you also learned something new about how people celebrate these uh, very important holidays here in China. And of course, this is a very challenging time. This year and also the past year was very, very difficult. Hopefully, we will get over this situation very soon. And in the meantime, I wish all of you the best and also happy Chinese New Year.